Hey, how about we do a cool little twist on a state angle pose? It's like Parliament. Get funky with it. Mmm. Alright. If you're not warm, take a moment to warm up. Just push pause. Put your namaskar A, I don't know, five times to warm up. B, do it five times to warm up. Your spine and hips all good to go, muscles sweet. And then jump back in here with me. Let's uh what we're doing here is gonna do a variation on on after Kavasan with that uh, eight angle pose. It's a pretty cool uh, story behind it. It's this uh, sage, his body was crippled and funky shaped worked with the king and uh, you know, I'm not going to tell the whole story. Look it up. Check it out. It's pretty sweet. But hey, let's blueprint this thing first. Down on your belly. All ten toenails, pubic bone against the mat. Let's get a sphinx here. Now once we're in sphinx, we're going to start right side. Just Lean into your left hip so your right hip flares up a little bit, okay? It's not flare up like inflammation. It just kind of lifts away from the ground a little. Pull your heart forward. Now your right arm, straighten it for a little more. That might be plenty. Rotate your chest a little. Find your spot. Stay there. Start looking over your right shoulder if that's appropriate. Want some more? Straighten your left arm. Just take a look back at your right butt cheek. Mm. Come on down. How about we get to the other side while we're here? Centering, settling, heart forward, shoulder blades back. Start flaring your left hip up off the mat a little bit. Start rotating your chest a little bit. Maybe straighten your left arm. Where do you feel that? Want more? Both arms. Look at your left butt cheek. Mm. Now we're getting back meat, psoas, thighs, obliques. Just bend your knees and go side to side because it feels good. Alright, let's do business. Come see it. You just bend your knees enough for the knees to point up. Let your legs drop open. Like, not like you're going into butterfly, but like you're going to go into a diamond. Okay. Left knee goes down. Right knee comes up. Right foot is flat. Rotate over that left side. Now I'm going to put my left hand way outside my hip. My right hand, I'm just going to sneak my forearm behind the inside of my left knee. From here, shift my hips back towards that back of the room there. Now I'm going to rotate and lower. See how my arms are bending like a chaturanga but really wide? Just come on down. Now maybe you just want to stay in here, just a little funky spine twist, right? But, maybe one more. If that's you, lift your right leg, put it up on the, the platform of your right tricep. Extend your right leg out. Instead of intertwining ankles, we're just going to scooch your left knee up a little bit, bend it. Grab a hold of your right forearm with the inside of your left knee. And when you're ready, lift off. And just hang out here and breathe. Shoulders rolling in strong. Smiling is good. Bail out. Stop the knee. Go side. Uno mas asana rep. Set the knees bent. Drop your right knee. Uh, start coming in your twist. Right hand going outside. 
Left hand coming into the back of my left knee. Shift hips a little bit. And make your twist. Bend your arms. Come on down. Lower your shoulder impingement. Stuff like that. Adjust as necessary. Hang out here. Or bring your left leg up on the left tricep. Now. Capture your left forearm, straighten your left leg, squeeze your right heel towards your butt, and when you're ready, just push in and lift off. And breathe here. Smile for goodness sake. So here we go. A little wiggle, a little swiggle. So, here's the cool thing about yoga pose. You know, all these yoga teachers talk about opening space, opening space, let prana flow through the spaces we open, dwell in the spaces, the gaps. And that's very true. But there's duality, man. There's a, a yin and yang to everything. So, while we're opening a space, and letting oxygenated blood flow into those areas, we're also closing, binding another part of our body at the same time. So let's think about what that does. Consider a, a garden hose, okay? You got water running through the hose. You kink the hose. What happens? Pressure builds up, right? So we're in the optimum. We take a bind. We're opening the space. Stuff's flowing in that space. That's cool. But there's the, the closed part. We're binding kinking the hose, letting that energy build up behind it, just grow, just pressure, 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 breathing, staying calm, feet not touching, breath steady long. And when we release out of that, it just flows. Woo! Did you ever get that sweet wash over your body when you come out of a pose? Yeah, that's what that is. Notice that feeling. We discover it, uh, we look at that in yin, but we can do that in other types of asana. That feeling, develop awareness of it, because that's, that's your key, man, the intelligence of your body, your spirit. When you get awareness of that sensation, and you're tuning in to the communication with not only physical body, but your subtle body, the energetic body. That's, that's cool stuff, man. That's Jedi shit. Hey, uh, that's all I got on this one. Thanks.